All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakwadash. The Bible of the Apostle knows a great millstone for teaching us the warm sin, truth, according to the Bible, and rule well. And peace and blessings so full of the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, when we get into a Lord's one well, edifying lesson, dealing with uh prayers, right? Dealing with uh you know, crying out to Yah by Shema Shai in your afflictions, in your uh, struggles, you know, the day to day struggles, the things that we go through on the day to day, we have to cry to Yah by Shema Shai and pray to the Lord, you know. All the time, right? Scriptures say, uh, pray without ceasing, right? So, we're not supposed to, uh, be, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be, uh, fervent, uh, fervent in prayer, right? Let's look at this, uh, it's like, yeah. What does scripture say, uh, fervent in spirit, always abounding in the work of the Lord, right? I'm not used to using this app. Forgive me, brothers. This is um. James five, and sixteen. Confess your faults one to another. Right. So we have to be uh honest. Right. Sincere in this thing. Understanding our weaknesses. It says and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. Right. So we pray for one another, and you know that's something. You know, uh, we should be doing, we should be praying for the body. You see? We should be praying for one another that ye may be healed, that Yahweh Shai may heal us, that he might make us whole. Because we are uh, brokenhearted, we are, you know, sickly, right? But they that behold need not a physician, but they that are sick. Yahweh Shai came not to save uh, the righteous but sinners on to repentance, right? So we need uh, Yahweh Shai. And we look at this word uh, healed and health, you know, heal, health means to be whole, right? So through prayers, you know, we're, we're being made whole. The Lord is allowing us to uh, overcome, right? Uh, certain temptations. It says the, 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 the fervent prayer the fer the 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 effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, right? And when we pray to Yah by Shema Shai and our prayers are heard, uh, that's the Lord uh having a uh, mercy on us. You know, uh, let me see. Uh, this is um, th this this is a good one. This is a. Uh, uh, Matthews 9 and 2 and behold they brought to him a man sick of the palaces laying on a bed and Yahweh Shai seeing their faith and s said unto the sick of the palaces Lord is why I'm saying that right Son, be thou of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven. Right? Let's click on this. And behold, um, and behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth, and Yahweh Shai knoweth their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether is it easier to say thy sins be forgiven or to or to say arise and walk? <clears throat> it says, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palaces, arise, take up thy bed. And go on to thy house. And he arose and departed to his house. 
right? And when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified the Most High, when he, which he had given such power onto men, right? So our prayers, you know, and, you know, this is why the disciples asked for this right here in, um, I believe St. Luke 17 and 5. And the apostle said unto the Lord, Incre increase our faith, right? Because Yahweh Shai, he told them this man through his faith, right? Let's read it again. Matthew 9 and 2. And behold, that they brought to him a man sick of the palsies, lying on a bed in Yahawashai, seeing their faith. So faith is seen, you know, through works, through your actions, right? And Yahawashai is seeing your faith. So part of that, you know, faith is you praying to Yah by Shema Washai, right? Whatever you're dealing with, you pray to the Lord, you know, to help you out, whether you're dealing with a dis-ease in the body, you know, whether you're uh, fighting to overcome a temptation, you pray to the Lord about it, right? And then you also want to do some works, you know, to follow those things, right? Certain steps you might take to to deal with the dis-ease in the body, right? <clears throat> and this isn't uh, medical advice, right? By all means, right? You can do your own research, this isn't a uh, medical advice. It says, "Son, uh, son, be thou of good cheer; thy sins be forgiven." Right. So we pray to Yah by Shema uh, to heal, to, to 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 help us out, and through the Lord answering our prayers, that is the Lord having mercy upon us. That is the Lord uh, forgiving us of our iniquity, our trespasses. Right. Whatever we may uh, go through, whether it be financially, right? Whatever brothers are going through in their lives, pray to Yah by Shema Shai, you know, for forgiveness and mercy and that the Lord, you know, have mercy upon us, right? This is, um, because that's prayer is part of the work. So you're showing the Lord that you believe you're, you're casting your burdens on the Lord as well, Right? So this is Sirach 35 and 15. Do not the tears run down the widow's cheek? And is not her cry against him that causeth them to fall? Right? Because we're in this uh, messed up predicament. Right? And tears are going down our cheeks, you know, spiritually. You know, we're crying, you know, for all, for the, because of the predicament that we're in. Right, and when you really understand the, the 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 messed up predicament that we're in here in Babylon the Great, you know, uh, our our cry is against Esau Elam in this wicked society that he has set up. You see, and we're crying to the Yah by Shema Shai to make a speedy uh, riddance to this man to take him out of the power seat. And while we patiently uh, wait for the will of the Heavenly Father to be done in the earth, we're praying that the Lord strengthens our spirits, that he continues with us, right? As we are walking down uh, this straight gate, this path of difficulty, right? So it says, do not the tears run down the widow's cheek. So uh, the widow, when it speaks about in Luke the 18th chapter, Right, a character. See th this, this, this is the mindset of who the Lord is dealing with. They, they, they would be in the mindset of mourning. Let's get that. You know, it's been a while since I personally have brought this scripture out. This is all a classic scripture, right? Classic, very classic. This is Ecclesiastes seven and two. It says, "It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting." For, for that is the end of all men, and the, li and the living will lay it to his heart. I want to uh, read verse 4. This is the point. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, 
but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. So those with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, they're mourning. They're crying out to the Lord for him to bring this destruction to Babylon the Great, which is America, to bring these uh, prophecies to pass and to set up the kingdom of heaven, right? That is their mindset. So Sirach 35 and, and 15, do not the tears run down the widow's cheek? Would not these men be in the spirit of sighing and crying? Would not these uh, sisters, you know, be in a mournful state? Is not her cry against him that causeth them to fall? Do not we make our prayers to Yah by Shema Hoshai, you know, uh, against this man, against he, the things that he set up? It says, he that serves the Lord shall be accepted with favor, right? You're going to be accepted uh, by Yah by Shema Hoshai. Oh, look at this word, uh, favor. I got my other uh, device here, so bear with me, brothers. This this lesson's not going to be long, right? It says approval, support, or liking for someone or something, right? So he that serves the Lord, we're going to get the approval and the support of Yahweh Shema Washai, right? An act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. So Yahweh Shema Washai, to those that serve him, he's going to show an act of kindness beyond what is due, right? See why it's important for us to look up words? It says, he that serves the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach on to the clouds. Our prayers are being heard. Yahweh Shema Washai, he has seen our afflictions, right? He has seen the things. He has heard our cries, right? So, so continue to pray. Continue to cry to Yahweh Shema Washai. Continue to make supplication to beg the Lord to uh, help you overcome certain things that you're dealing with in your life, to, to uh Send back Yahweh Shai, right? Continue to do these things because your cry, your prayer is not in vain. Our prayers are not in vain, right? Don't you got a tough day ahead of you at work? Pray to the Lord, right? You, uh, whatever you are uh, dealing with, the you know, Lord, you know, yeah, uh, this, this, you know, and it takes time, right? It's a mindset. Right, and, and you constantly begging, constantly nagging the Lord, Lord, you know, Bob Kershaw, you know, uh, make this happen. This is a uh, verse seventeen. The prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds, right? So the prayer of the humble, the the humble, the meek, the lowly. You know, I believe a uh, humble means to be humiliated, right? You know, that's that's one of the words. Uh, humiliation comes back to being humbled, right? And, and we are uh, humiliated, you know? It says, having or showing a modest or low estate of one's own importance, right? So we're not, we, we realize that in the eyes of the Lord, we're, we're low, right? We're, we're not, we're not high-minded. We're, we're humble servants, right? The Lord does not need us. Right? So the prayer of the humble, knowing that the Lord does not need us, but we need the Lord, the prayer of the humble, the prayer of that man or woman pierceth the clouds. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted. Right? And will not depart till the most high shall be shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. Right? So we, we truly, you know, we have the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, to know that these words are faithful and true, to know that our prayers are being heard. Right? But we won't uh, enter into the fullness of that rest until uh, judgment starts to go forth in the earth. Right? Until these times of trouble uh, befall the earth. But that's why, you know, it might seem uh, scary. You know, thinking about having to go on a fast, 
uh, for multiple days to be in a major city and, you know, we're looting and stealing and rioting is going to be going on, right? To be in, the, to be in a, a royal area and it's a desert, there's no food anywhere, right? These things may seem fearful or scary, but the Lord has commanded us to fret not, and to, but to pray, you yeah, pray the Lord, you know, and this starts now, right? Success doesn't happen overnight, right? These things, uh, a relationship is not built overnight. Trust, trust is not built in a day, right? These things take time. So you're gaining more trust and faith in Yah by Shema Washai by casting your burdens upon him now, right? So... With that, you know, Lord's willing to edify, you know, continue to pray to Yahweh Shema Shai. Till next time I'm going to say, Shalom.